back to the breaking news that has just happened about what 20, 25 minutes ago. Police in Las Vegas investigating reports of an active shooter near the Mandalay Bay Casino on the Strip. Police are asking everyone to avoid this area. You can appreciate the police presence with the sirens. Let's go to our affiliate, the reporter there on the ground. In. We just saw that team that was moving, that tactical team that kind of moved in. Uh, but a very serious situation out here. And I want to bring in uh, Danny here. He's from visiting from Australia. You were in the Mandalay Bay a we little earlier. Tell, tell me what you saw, what you heard. We saw first officers about eight running into the lift bay at 31 lift bay. They were going up, they were coming down, they were going this way, that way. We were told to get out, we were told to get in. The shooters, one shooter's up there still, we were told by police shooting out and uh, one's roaming around and we've been told to come here and we think we're safe here because there's so many police. Did you see the shooters at all? Uh, we, no, we, no one saw it. But Did you hear anything? Yeah, a lot of people had gunshots, We, yeah, but the initial gunshots apparently um, like uh, machine gun fire. Like, so it was like a rapid did, fire? Did, did, yep, yep, yep. And, and so, so when you heard that, I mean, what was your reaction when you heard all that? Well, we, we knew it was chaos and mayhem because people were running out of everywhere and they were really, the police were really unaware of where the ground person was. They were going this way, that way. There's SWAT everywhere. We were tucked away, about 12 of us, in a little um, like a car park thing. And then it was like the SWAT came. They said, hands up. This way, we're unarmed. We just we would usher it out this way. You, you, you said that you described to me that you were running from Mandalay Bay for like the last hour. Why do you yeah. feel like you were running? I mean, where, where we you... didn't know where, where, where the shooter is. You know, the police were, yeah, the police and women telling us to go. We know tell us to go that way. So we knew they were confused like we were. And we just wanted to stay close to the, then this one SWAT car, they let it, ushered us out and they said go that way and we can come this way and we, we feel like I said there's a lot of police here. And then we started yeah. running. Yeah. yeah. Like full on sprinting or? Well, yeah, or, or we're running. Yeah. <laughs> and you know carrying bags and helping people and yeah we yeah. stuck, there was about I don't know 12, 14 of us that we all stuck together. A couple of big boys, bigger than, you know, like big boys and we thought well we'd have a chance if we stick together. What went through your head, I mean, when you heard shooter? I'm from Australia, we don't cop this sort of stuff in Australia that much, but you just try and keep as many people safe, I suppose, and you're running what people tell you. So are you guys staying at the Mandalay Bay? Yeah. yeah. We had conferences there tomorrow, today, and the next day. Did you see anybody that was injured or hurt? No, the apparently the, all the Twitter reports is that the shooters were shooting at the concert across the hall. Well, thankfully you guys are okay. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. we can everybody can keep safe out here. Okay, uh, it looks like we have some some movement here. They're kind of expanding the perimeter here. Police are telling everybody to move further south, so we're going to do that as well. And if you can turn the camera here, you can see it looks like teams are getting ready to move in. So this is escalating here, at least in the urgency that we see. A lot of people out here with their phones trying to document it, but we can see. Okay. Well, let's try to migrate with them so we're not getting in anybody's way here. But as you can imagine, trying to get thousands and thousands of people to move all cohesively and out of the way and keep them out of harm's way, I mean, that's the priority here for Metro and all of the law enforcement agencies that are out here right now. Uh, but it's a surreal sight to see. All right, uh, Nathan, uh, whatever you do, just make sure that you're following the, uh, the advice there of the officers and the, the commands as, as uh, all the residents there are and the citizens are. Uh, we want to go ahead and show you some images as well that we've been receiving uh, via social media. This is uh, via Banjo. And what you're looking at here are the crowds running, uh, presumably after those shots? All right, we're going to interrupt for a moment because CNN is just getting word that multiple people are at the University Medical Center in Las Vegas with gunshot wounds. That's according to a hospital spokeswoman. We've been hearing from the people there who've been getting out of the way saying that they heard uh, up to hundreds of shots from a shooter that was somewhere in the vicinity of the Mandalay Bay Casino. That's it there in the distance, you see, with the vertical gold stripes. But again, we're just learning multiple people have been taken to the hospital suffering from gunshots. We're also learning from the people this reporter for our affiliate is uh, talking with that they were attending some sort of concert. And it seems that uh, this shooter was aiming at them uh, as this person uh, moved about firing a weapon that 
witnesses there. And again, these are witnesses doing the best they can uh, to explain what they experienced in, in a very hurried, harried, scary, scary situation um, that it sounded like a, a, a very high powered uh, some sort of machine gun. And you can see right there that uh, officers are moving in. We can't tell where they're coming from and where they're headed. But I reported they were also saying it seemed that some SWAT teams were staking out a, a, a new location and continue to scour this area because we do not know right now uh, whether this area is secure. Uh, whether they have an idea of where this shooter is, where the shooter is in custody, uh, we just don't know. But this is a situation that has just been underway for about 25 minutes now, and we're going to stay on top of it and continue to monitor it and bring you what we are learning. Quick break here. We're